I will be showing you how you can install Windows 11 on unsupported PC and laptops without TPM 2.0 and the latest CPU, latest and greatest one. So a lot of computers today don't support Windows 11 just because of that two factors. So you have to have a really, really good PC today to run Windows 11. So these are the requirements. This is the one that mostly most people don't have. This is Trusted Platform Module 2.0. And the second thing is the processor. Even that some, somebody doesn't have 64-bit processor, so I'm going to show you right now how you can install it regardless of that hardware. So the first thing that you have to do is to go to this link. It will be linked in the description. This is our official site from Microsoft themselves. This is their site. Scroll down and find this download Windows 11 disk image ISO file for 64 devices. Go to this one, Windows 11 multi edition ISO for 64 devices. Click on download now. Here you can choose the language. I'm gonna go for English International. Click on confirm. And here is the download, minus 11, click on this one. And here is the download starting, so just wait to finish. Another thing that you're gonna need is Rufus, which will create a bootable USB drive. So this is the link that you will need to go to. It will also be linked in the description below of this video. So go scroll down, go to the latest Rufus. 4.2.exe Download it and after it has been downloaded, launch it. You can click on it. And this is the files that you will have is this one and this one. Now you run the Rufus. And now you have to plug in your USB USB drive. So make so make sure that your USB is right here. And go to select, select your ISO file where you downloaded it. And after you selected the ISO file, then we can go, we're gonna leave everything as default settings, everything as it is. And click on start. Then we're gonna make sure that this is ticked. Remove requirement for 4 GB RAM and secure boot NTP 2.0. Make sure that is checked. If it's not checked, it will not work. So make sure it's, it's checked. If you want, you can create with local with username with your same this ones. But if not, if you have a Microsoft account linked with your windows so you can create a separate one and log in with that then you need to have then if you want you can disable this data collection skip privacy questions if you want so i usually tick that so if you want you can do it if you not how you want just make sure that remove requirements are there and then click on start he's gonna say it will be deleted everything from your USB. If you agree to this, click on OK. I will click OK. It deletes everything from USB. And we're gonna wait this to finish. And after it's finished, we're gonna go to the next step. Just wait this to finish. So after it has been finished it says ready you can close it and keep your usb plugged in in your pc and now we're gonna go to bios and boot from the usb i'm gonna show you right now so to enter the bios you need to go to 
start menu and then click on this power button and go to restart restarting your PC and after it restarts it's usually you see for me it's here press delete to enter setup so I'm gonna go to you have to find like something like section like boot and then we will see like something like boot option it's it's not for same for same PC it's you have to see for yourself on your own PC how it's but it's usually on boot category and then here on option you have to boot to be the first one so USB this one so your USB is on priority on number one not number two or number three but number one so let's make it number two number one and go exit here and save changes and exit and after that it will boot from USB and another thing that you need to do is to enable a secure boot from a BIOS again going to a BIOS so I'm gonna turn on my PC and press on delete so when you see this press on delete so it goes in your BIOS and again when you're in your BIOS settings you need to enable one more thing is you go to security find something like security and here on a secure boot state we gotta go and enable this secure boot as you can see here secure boot for me now is disabled so you go and enable it and go to install install default secure boot keys I'm gonna go and install it and now as you can see the secure boot now is enabled so make sure that these two things are set up the boot one on the boot right here so you have your USB booting from it and and that's it so we can close save and close save it and now you're good to go and set up so this is a lot of videos I saw it doesn't show you to set up so that's why for some users you will see in comment that it does not work so that's the steps that I don't see in other videos so once you're here so once you're here this is where you should get now when you go from BIOS to boot from your USB so this is where the window you should pop up with so go to next go to install now go to this one enter if you have a product key insert it here if not you go i don't have a product key skip on this one click on this one click on i accept next go to this one custom install windows only and now here you install on your drive so i'm gonna create a new drive that click on ok and now you have three of this so go on your hard disk click on next and we're gonna wait this one to complete now after everything finished go and type in your name click on next then here we're gonna set for personal if it's personal or this for school or work i'm gonna set the personal go next here we if we click next as you can see we must enter an email so i'm gonna enter a random email
like Microsoft at Outlook. Outlook.com, click on next. And some random password. As you can see, now everything worked and it's just a random email. It's not, it's not my email. I just entered randomly. And now it asks us if you want to sign in with Microsoft account or without. So I'm going to go without. If you have a Microsoft account, enter with Microsoft account. If you don't have, enter with this one. With a local one, click on next and type in your name again. Enter password if you want, or just if you don't want, click next. Here we're gonna, if you want privacy on your device, you can turn on and off. I usually turn on all of them off, like this. Let's check everything, okay? Accept. And we're gonna wait this update stuff. We're gonna wait this and to finish. We're gonna wait this to finish. After everything has finished, you go to choose your country, everything. Right after you choose, click on yes. And now I'm gonna wait a little bit. Here we're gonna go everything on default. Yes. I'm gonna skip this one. And we are in Windows 11. So this is how you install it on unsupported device on US for, uh, via USB. So I'm gonna show you another method how you can install Windows 11. Hello guys, this is the second method. This is without using a USB drive. This is just with registry editor. So this should not delete your, your data from your PC because it's just upgrading and it's not reinstalling it from scratch. So I do recommend to back up your data on another drive. So you're safe 100%. So, but I don't really care. So I will not back up anything right now. So let's get started. So all you have to do is to go to ISO file that you downloaded before, right click on it and mount. And if this window doesn't pop up immediately, you can go to start and type in this PC. Now first one. And here DVD drive, you will see we have a virtual drive double click on it and now we are on the same spot so we're gonna go and launch this on the setup one and uh and user account control I'm gonna say yes as i stated before this is not recommended by microsoft i will test this windows 11 so i don't really care if there are security issues but if you install on your main PC, just be careful of that. As you can see, the updates are installed, but Windows 11 setup needs to restart for them to work after they start. So it's going to restart. So just wait. It's going to relaunch. As you can see, checking your PC where this is not gonna work, we are only doing this because we will get a folder in registry editor. So just make sure you do this. So it will say it's not supported. So you see it's not supported. So you see my CPU is not supported and TPM 2.0 is not supported. So close this one. Just wait for this to close itself.
Okay, we can minimize this folder for now and go to start and type in regedit. And go to registry editor, first one. Click on yes. And now you have to go to this path to local machine, HK local machine. Then go to system. Click on this arrow to so it maximizes this ones. And then go to setup. And now you scroll down and go to Mo setup. So you have to do that because you will get this folder now. You go right click on this folder, new, d 32 bit value. And now here paste exactly like this. This will be also be in the description of the video. So make sure it's exactly like this with uppercase and everything like that. Press enter, double click on it and make sure the value data is not a zero but is one change it to one click ok make sure it's one it's one click ok close now now go back to this one and relaunch setup and now if you did everything correctly it should work without any problems and should skip any verifications for your pc Okay, go next. So again, it's checking for updates, everything. So it will restart again, just just as before. As you can see, as you can see it closed itself, so it's gonna relaunch. There we go. Let's see if this works now. Checking your PC. As you can see, it works. We're getting started of your things ready. As you can see, everything right now worked. So we're gonna go accept. As you can see, you need at least TPM uh, 1.2 and you have a secure boot enabled. Make sure that secure boot is enabled on your BIOS just as showed before. And there we go, we're again in Windows 11. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you successfully installed Windows 11. And see you in the next video. Bye.